She's very, very regal woman. When she was young, of course. I actually wasn't sure I, I could see a look of a young sort of Susan Hampshire about her. But now she's, she's, she's grown, she's matured into something very regal, with more than a passing resemblance to Camilla Parker Bowles. Lucky old Peter. I think a husband is, is, is in many ways, a, a little bit like having a pet. Um, and uh, certainly, Peter it, it is that, in that he's always around and getting under my feet. <laughs> and uh, one would sometimes wishes one could put them outside. But um, one does have to keep up standards. Well, we, we met at Cambridge. University. Originally met in drama sock. Hmm. Hither and yon, you know, neither of us had done a great deal in that department. But, I mean, Flick made a super Miss Julie. Oh, I've always been a bit of a clown. Um, I was the same at Rodin. I was uh, pretty popular. Um, I mean, a little bit of bullying went on, but um, I don't regret it. I absolutely adored boarding school. We had a super time there. So I, I didn't see mother and father that much. Then I went to university, of course. And again, didn't see them that much then. Really started trying to rebuild the relationship once I left university, with great success. We would meet every Christmas, not Christmas Day, we would meet in the week prior to Christmas. I mean, Christmas for my parents was a big family time. I mean, I've always worked. I've always worked. Uh, but I... I haven't had a job in the traditional sense, yet here I am now, uh, managing a 40-acre uh, estate and, in many ways, single-handedly managing Peter. <laughs> we do find the children tiring. Yes, we have two, Rafiki and Simba. Not their real names, obviously. No, I mean, their real names are just a, a mess of consonants. Originally, we were sponsoring three pay for their cataracts, that sort of thing. With a little bit of soul-searching, uh, I did feel that was really rather over the top. Um, so we, with, we withdrew the funding for the third. Just a case of our, you know, pockets aren't bottomless. Nana. Gosh. Well, Nana is, is very much my Man Friday in female form, in, in as much as she does for me. Pretty much everything. She irons, she washes, she cooks. You know, she certainly makes things a lot easier for Flick. I mean, before Nana, it was very, very difficult for Flick in that she had Valerie, who could only come five mornings a week. When Flick is feeling particularly tired and tight, I will sleep in my study. And Nana creeps up with a little nightcap for me. And there'll be a tenderness in her eyes. And I'm at once transported back to childhood. I mean, I will say on behalf of these girls, these foreign girls, uh, people do knock them. I do criticise them, but, uh, by God, they're cheap. I lay my breakfast out, you know, the night before. Often eat it the night before. Uh, save time, you know. And I make a noise in hospitality, uh, corporate hospitality, mostly making a noise on the telephone, you know, hooting away. Hello. <laughs> and I'm on a few boards. I can't pretend it's difficult work, but I find it very hard. I think about Flick regularly when I'm at work. Of course I do. I sometimes find it hard to concentrate if I know she's having a difficult day. But she has Rolf here twice a week. Rolf is her masseur. I mean, he, he's made a big difference to Flick. I do have a condition which um, has caused me a number of problems. Uh, sporadic blindness, uh, limb seizures, and um, a swelling of the brain in, in damp conditions. People ask, is it infertility? No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's rather more delicate, rather more private, and it's not something It's vaginismus. That... That's right. During intercourse, the um, vaginal walls contract to the point where um, penile accommodation is absolutely impossible. Even a small penis feels like an aubergine. Oh. Oh. Ah. 
Well done. If you stop and think about it, it's horrific. Imagine that's the muscles contracting. Let's try it. I'm squeezing quite tightly. I'm all right at the moment. All right. But here we go. I'm starting to ache. And now I'm getting quite tired. Bless you, darling. And so I try not to pester Flick. Before I met Peter, I was actually very, very well. Um, I mean, I certainly never had this problem with Geoffrey. I, I was actually wonderfully aroused with Geoffrey. Oh. <laughs> Good Geoffrey there. Yeah. Flick's fiance, Geoffrey Carr, Michael Chap, uh, fine oarsman, championship show jumper, real all rounder. Absolutely my soulmate. Huge, bright, spectacular man. Small head for the size of body, though. Very small. <laughs> Those trunks. They really are rather obscene, aren't they? They used to go see through. <laughs> Darling, your hand is in the face. I think it's the most horrific scene I've ever encountered. Um, we were out punting. And I'd set off for provisions and returned to find Flick screaming. And I looked down and I saw the body lying bloated by the riverbank. Now, you don't think in a situation like that you just act. I dived down and began mouth to mouth furiously, only to be set upon by the family of what transpired to be innocent, rather tubby sunbather. By then, of course, it was too late and Geoffrey was dead, pulled down by the reeds. Shortly after that, that I proposed to Flick. Yes. Got back from the police station about six. It would have been about seven. Don't bend, Donald. I do find it. You might just allow me to bend this once. Oh. Hopeless. I'm having a competition, a riding competition, and um, you know, I'm. I'm I, <laughs> I hesitate to say I, I shall do well, but I am quietly confident. The, 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 the dash thing is that it's on the same day as my birthday. Which, of course, will result in him being somewhat late for his own birthday party. That, of course, that of course won't matter, because I dare say the majority of the guests have not come to see poor old Peter, but to rejoice in dear old Flick. They're like moths oh. round a flame. They love to flock to Flick. Why don't you go and take in a movie on that afternoon as well, Peter? <laughs> you know, since your birthday party means so much to you. Coming as I do from a, a family of huge men, I mean, my, my father was, was medically a giant. And, uh, I mean, Geoffrey was also wonderfully large. Um, which means that Peter falls really rather short. We're looking for a riding outfit for my husband. Right, just a traditional sort Please. of thing? So mm -hmm. Ideally something he can grow into. Do you anticipate much growth? OK, no, a, a, a size <coughs> larger, perhaps. Please. OK, um, jodhpurs, do you want to start with jodhpurs? Jodhpurs, fine. Do you want to try the jodhpurs, darling? I, I yes think, or no? Yes, please. OK, what uh, size are you, sir? I'm a 32-inch waist. All right, well, let's try them in a 38. I think 38 could probably be a bit much, isn't it? Um, I mean, if you want to try them in a, a size larger, perhaps we could try a 34. 34, darling? Let's put them in a 36. Oh, 36 is fine. Um, what uh, length leg are you? Short. Rather short, yes. Sorry. Do you want them short or, or do you want a longer leg? A longer leg is fine. Is. We can always fold up and cuff. 36. 36 long. Long. Thank you, darling. Do you want to try the Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Thank, Thank you. you. Cubicle. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry. <coughs> if they are a bit sure on the wide fine. side. I adore horses. I was brought up with them. I grew up with horses. Excellent.
Excellent. I'm part of a very super class. My instructor, Angela, is very encouraging, very kindly lady. Down, push on. Legs, legs, legs. Better. Heels down. Well, this is our pet cemetery, which has been in the family for, for centuries. Um, and it's within our grounds, obviously. Um, that one, of course, was uh, Chin Chin, absolutely wonderful uh, childhood pet. Peacock, huge bright cock. Gloriously colourful, majestic thing. Sadly, uh, he died and I was left with a rather drab little peahen, which uh, I do feel has set something of a pattern. This, this of course, is um, Geoffrey's plot, and I like to come out here just to spend some quality time with him. I mean, I always knew with Geoffrey that he was very much the one, um, but I think what really clinched it for me was that first kiss. Had these wonderfully large, very red lips, quite bulbous, I think one would almost say, a, a particularly a big tongue. I mean, he was medically a giant, um, and I'll never forget how it used to probe into my mouth and really search my mouth, you know, one would feel that it was actually quite forceful. Well, I mean, Geoffrey really was coming... rather good at everything that he did. I mean, that was the thing about him, is that he was an achiever and he was captain at all sorts of sports. And I suppose kissing was no different. I mean, I never experienced <laughs> the kiss my Click! Oh, dear, the vaginismus. Sometimes when the muscles contract, Flick will get depleted. The blood sugar will go down. It's a form of diabetes, isn't it, darling? It's all right. There, it's come on. I've got you. Today. Please don't pour me, right. darling. It's all right. Please don't pour me, darling. Thank you. I mean, he was originally buried near Lake Windermere, the wish of his parents. Mm, which I thought was really rather selfish, but uh, shortly afterwards, we began legal proceedings and had his body exhumed and brought back here. He's actually buried straight down into the ground, mm. like that, wearing his riding outfit, perfectly erect. How I like to remember him. I think when one truly loves somebody, to, um, to let go of them would be wrong. And if you think about my condition as well, on top of all that, if you couple the grief with a very, very tight, you know, there's not much room for Peter. I shall be buried next to Geoffrey. I shall be curved around him very much like a banana, which was one of our very favourite positions, Jeff and, and I myself. Shall be just I mean, the other we had a certain side, language, really, between us. Fitting in language of love. Before Darling, the I'm talking. perimeter fence. And uh, Peter, as we have discussed, well, I shall be able Peter, to just as we have around. discussed, will be down there between Sergeant Potter and Rachel. Sergeant Potter is my we guinea pig. We about it. Uh, quite fitting for me, because I'm, of course, something of a pig and not worth a guinea. <laughs> Why don't you go down, Peter, and uh, try out the plot? Yeah, but all, in all seriousness, I shall, I shall rest with... Peter, why don't you go down with, and try uh, out the plot? With okay. Flick and with... with Peter! Jeff. I think it's abundantly clear that, 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 I'm, that I'm not entirely right. <laughs> but as they've all told me, there's no reason that I can't, you know, really make a crack at life. Uh, because I have so much... Positive. So many positive things in my life. Flick, the house, the job, hell on the dog, na na. But why should something like that, you know, affect me? And it, and it doesn't. I mean, it's only when I, it's only really in, in quiet moments when I'm on my own or perhaps in company that it will, that it might rear its ugly head. And hunch. Pet hawk. Feels far. Does it look far? I mean, the other option, of course, is cremation. I, I like comfort. I like, I thrive on comfort, and I do like a cushion. I mean, I, it's a silly thing, really, isn't it? But I, uh, I adore having a cushion. The weight of the cushion on my lap, it makes me feel secure. I mean, I can just as easily put it away. I'm much happier with it. Really, I'm much happier with it. I keep Geoffrey's toiletry bag absolutely intact. And just the sound of that zip brings back so much feeling for me. Geoffrey's comb, 
with his hair left. And he loved to comb his hair, and he loved me to comb his hair. Um, all of his hair. Mm. His cologne. Flick has tried as many doctors as you can shake a stick at and foxed every one of them. Uh, and, and you see what will happen is that it's, it's intermittent and so the, the illness will come on. I mean, perhaps the, one of the worst occasions was in 1997. I was due to go on a skiing holiday with some close friends from school and university. And of course, poor Flick was stricken. Absolutely. The virginismus stricken. came on suddenly and I, I was unable to make the airport and missed my flight and my holiday and then, quick as a daisy, of course, by the Saturday morning, she was actually skipping around. Yes, but I mean, that gave you the opportunity to fix some things here. That came out and demossed the, demossed uh, the court. tennis court. The Jeffrey end was riddled with moss. We always moss. call it the Jeffrey end and the pool end, because, of course, that's the end nearest Jeffrey and that's the end nearest the pool. <laughs> well, Flick has said that if I, if I insist on going to the competition on the day of my <laughs> birthday, Party, that, 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 that she will file for divorce. <laughs> I don't see her doing that again in a hurry. <laughs> She's a little cross in that I shall be about 20 minutes or so late, but what she has to appreciate is that when it comes to sport, I'm sorry, but Peter Moorcross takes things very seriously. <laughs> Birthday breakfast laid out before me, which is super. Oh, Rather please. Flick. Happy birthday, Peter. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, is that for me? I haven't got your card, darling. There's really no point. They only go in the bin, so. Yes. <laughs> yes. We'll try it on, darling. Oh, gosh. <laughs> darling, it's very exhausting waiting. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. How is it? I, actually, I'm awfully sorry, but I actually think it's... Um... Well, darling, let's try it. Let's really try it. How's ah, that? No, gosh, I actually think it's... Mm, how's no, that? No, I think it, actually do think it's a bit too small. Oh. Ah! Ah! Ah, yes. That's done the trick. There, that's on. Feels a little tight. Does it look at all tight? Darling, please don't be ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful, darling. Thank you. Oh, my flick. Oh. Ooh. Flick's not coming, but she's done the next best thing and ordered me a taxi. Well, good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to what promises to be a splendid afternoon show jumping. Nice to see you so many traveling. Fine, fine. There she goes. Oh, they're very sure, yes. Well done, Nicola. A little light-headed, actually. I... Right. <laughs> Just ask you, who told you to create a corned beef baguette? Um, you, the uh, lady I saw about the function, madam. She actually told you to bring uh, corned she beef did. into my home. She did. I think that's very unlikely. Can we 
please keep Nana away from the food? Um, very disappointing result. Um, unplaced in my in my class. Um, I came last. I, I take some comfort from the fact that <laughs> without a loser there can be no winners. Uh, so I feel that I have contributed in that way. Um, I'm also going to be dreadfully late. I mean, I'm dreadfully late for my own party. Uh, I dare say though that the flick will keep the fires burning and you know will actually wel welcome me with with open arms when I when I do get back. Oh, oh Sure, my light. I couldn't have come any sooner, darling. Is everybody? This is your day, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Finally decided. Hello. <laughs> Harry, hello. All the good Lord. <laughs> Poor old Peter. Late to his old party. <laughs> hello. Ah. Uh, As you can see, Peter's. Let the celebrations begin with the crisps. To get <laughs> I was unplaced. For those of you who are wondering, um, I came in rather pathetic last. But not to worry, because I'm 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 first at my birthday. But you're not, darling. Not, <laughs> not in not in the sense of arriving. But in the sense of, of whose birthday it is, I'm first. So three cheers for, for Flick and for Nana, and 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 let let joy be unconfined. Well, who's the birthday boy? Who's the birthday boy? Me? Ah, <laughs> well, come on up, Peter. Come on up. Oh, would you like to? Excuse would you me. like to touch my friend, Peter? No, thank you. Forty. Whoa, congratulations! Peter's grandfather died in his uh, mid forties, and his father died in his early forties. So uh, we can only keep our fingers crossed. Shall I make Peter disappear? Yes. yes. Shall I make him disappear? Go away, Peter. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> He's gone! <laughs> Peter's concerned that uh, I shan't cope when he goes, but uh, I've told him not to worry. I'm fully reconciled. forward to a return to the physical aspect of the marriage certainly I mean <laughs> I don't think I could I don't think I could go on if that weren't the case I mean I I've often said I liken it to a man who who is looking forward to a hearty supper and so as to enjoy the supper even more he decides not to snack and so when I get to my my supper I shall I shall enjoy it full score and ten because I should be quite hungry I mean the unfortunate and, and very terrifying fact about this disease is that many, many ways, at best we can hope for a very steady, progressive deterioration. It's Felicity Moorcross. Hi, I thought you might like a grosh. Oh, thanks very much. Where's he gone, Naughty Rabbit? No, seriously, no. <laughs> He's actually gone missing. Oh, has he really? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 
Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bonkers! I'm very wet, Ralph. Uh, I'm sad about my rabbit. Um, rabbit, 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 rabbit. <laughs> been a wonderful day for everybody and uh, really it's been Peter's day I mean it's been absolute fun for Peter I am tired and I am tight it's been fun for him it's been fun for everybody here and um, I think we've all enjoyed ourselves enormously <laughs> friends and not even friends but acquaintances have said to me life has dealt you a bad hand well I'm pretty philosophical about that um, if a life of turmoil, anguish, sorrow, doubt, fear, regret and longing is a bad hand, then yes, I've been dealt a bad hand. But is it? Next week's couple in just a few seconds on BBC Two.